Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we take 5 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. And this becomes x plus 2. All raised to the power 6 minus 5 raised to the power 6, then equals to 0 here. Then next step, we can write this as x plus 2. All raised to the power 3. Then all raised to the power 2. As 2 times 3 here gives us 6 minus. Also, here we have 5 raised to the power 3. Then all raised to the power 2, which is equal to 0 here. Then this follows what we have a square minus b square, which can be written as a plus b. Into brackets, open brackets, a minus b. That is, yeah, a, same thing as x plus 2 or raised to power 3 and b same thing as 5 raised to power 3 watch this video to the end give it a thumbs up put your comment share this video and also subscribe then next step this follows this and becomes x plus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets then open brackets x plus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 close brackets then equals to 0 here that is next step we have two possible cases here the first one x plus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x plus 2 all raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this follows what we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus ab plus b square. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x plus 2 plus 5 into brackets, then open bracket x plus 2 all square, then minus 5 times x plus 2 plus 5 square plus brackets equals to 0 here. Then, yeah. This becomes x plus 7 into brackets, then open brackets. Yeah, the expression gives us x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 5 open brackets. Here we have minus 5x minus 10, then plus 5 square here as 25 close brackets equals to 0 here, which implies. We have x plus 7 into brackets, then open brackets, x squared, 4x minus 5x give us minus x, 25 minus 10, that's 15, 15 plus 4, we have plus 19, close brackets equals to 0 here. Then we have two possible cases here, first one x plus 7 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus x plus 19 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this gives us x equals to minus 7, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1, and c equals to 19. Applying quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 19. Then all over 2 times 1. That is, 
Here we have x equals to minus and is minus here is plus as one plus or minus square root of minus one square is one then minus four times one times nineteen we have seventy six then all over two that is here this becomes x equals to one plus or minus square root of one minus seventy six as minus seventy five all over two which also you can write as x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 here yeah, all over 2. When we separate this with 25 is 5, we take it out and we have x equals to 1 plus or minus 5. We have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2, which implies we have 2 complex solutions from here then solving from the second case here this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets and open brackets a square plus a b plus b square that is what we have here follow this and becomes x plus 2 then minus 5 into brackets and open brackets x plus 2 square plus 5 times x plus 2 plus 5 square plus brackets equals to 0 here. That is here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, becomes x minus 3 into brackets and open brackets. Expansion here gives us x squared plus 4x plus 4 and plus 5 open this bracket. We have 5x plus 10 and plus 5 square here that's 25 plus bracket equals to 0 here. That is here we have x minus 3 into brackets the open bracket. This becomes x squared. 4x plus 5x, that will give us plus 9x. Then 25 plus 10, 35. 35 plus 4, we have 39. Close bracket equals to 0 here. That is, here we have two possible cases as well. x minus 3 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 9x plus 39 equals to zero here then from here this gives us x equals to three which is also a re solution here then here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to one b equals to nine and c equals to 39 that is applying the quadratic formula all here becomes x equals to minus nine plus or minus square root of 9 square minus 4 times 1 times 39 over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus 9 plus or minus square root of 9 square, that's 81, then minus 4 times 1 times 39. We have 156 over 2. Then, next step here, we have x equals to minus 9 plus or minus square root of 81 minus 156 give us minus 75. Then, all over 2 here, which also becomes x equals to minus 9 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2. And when we separate this with 25, that's why we take it out. And we have x equals to minus 9 plus or minus 5. We have root 3. Our root minus 1 is i all over 2. That is, we have two complex solutions from here. And therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this problem. Two solutions there, two complex solutions there, and two complex solutions there. And thank you for watching.
Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.